Bendy and the Ink Machine is an episodic first-person survival horror video game developed and published by Kindly Beast under the name of the game's in-universe animation studio, Joey Drew Studios. Inspired by the Bioshock series, the game is set on the fictional studio of Joey Drew Studios, where the player controls Henry Stein, a retired animator which receives a letter from his old workmate, Joey Drew, inviting him back to his old workplace where he discovers a series of strange paranormal activities caused by the titular ink machine. In the game, players navigate through a first-person perspective and they need to complete certain tasks to proceed, which consist of collecting certain objects, solving puzzles, or to combat enemies by using certain weapons. Yet again, the game's wiki only scratches the surface. The amount of content and discussion surrounding Bendy and the Ink Machine was ridiculous. Back in 2017, when I saw MatPat's video on Game Theory, Welcome to Game Theory! I immediately fell in love with this world. As my first indie game, I have no regrets. Its lore was a huge selling point, and I wanted to experience it firsthand. Its atmosphere engaged old-timey aesthetic with Resident Evil art direction that was whimsical yet terrifying, but still doesn't resort to gore and gross to give a sense of danger. I didn't think that this was a horror game when I was going into it, but holy shit. I have and continue to recommend this title to anybody. If your PC can play Fortnite, there's no excuse not to play Bendy and the Ink Machine. But with that said, I do have some complaints. <laughs> Okay, the gameplay consists of backtracking puzzles, poor depth perception, first person melee combat, and running for your goddamn life. Guys, stop! You're giving me too many options! I'm only one man here! And its last chapter seemed... hollow, weak, unsatisfying, unpleasant, shitty. This is gonna be a good game. No, I'm serious. How the hell could you write yourself into a train wreck of a conclusion. I've seen better Friday the 13th endings than that mess of a chapter, which I paid for, by the way. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, that's something I don't like. Oh, that's something I really don't like. And honestly, the new game plus was, hey, look, I'm super cool. Even though I had nothing to the gameplay, let's play again with no late game features or mechanics to make the first level any more interesting. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! That was louder than I was expecting. I'm out of here. Yay! So yeah, the hype it commanded has fizzled out because of lazy design and a weak and weak spin-offs. Ultimately, even with my demeanor towards the last chapter, please play this game. It was an internet pulp culture icon, and it's perfect for any first-time buyer into the indie scene. Check it out on Steam, it will more, more than likely be on sale. Alright guys, thank you for watching all the good fun. Uh, it, Bindi holds a place in my heart that few games actually do where i absolutely love it until the very end and there's not a lot of games i can say that uh it, that that's the thing with it being episodic format they obviously kind of you know they kind of shot themselves in the foot with some of their writing and some of their direction of how the story was going to go and if i had to guess there was probably some internal squabbling of how should this be done should we leave it open for a sequel should we done this should we done that and honestly, I feel like they chose the worst option. It, it wasn't satisfying. It didn't really answer anything. Doesn't really give you any real conclusion. But also doesn't even leave anything open for an actual sequel or really anything else for the world. And the other spinoff games or other like, hey, you know, there's Boris. You guys like Boris, right? Here, here's a game about Boris. And I'm like, I don't give a shit about just Boris. I actually give a shit about the entirety of the world and i want more of, like even even with the melee combat and the puzzles were like really irritating like it was still worth it just to be like what happens next and that's and that's what they had they had what happens next and then they didn't know what to do with that so it uh, it sucks but definitely check it out it's a great game 
um, Markiplier, Game Theory, a bunch of hot, you know, freaking top tier YouTubers have covered this and probably covered it way better than I ever could. So check out their stuff. Just, you know, just go into the, you know, to the search bar on YouTube and start clickety clacking away. But anyways, guys, if you like what you see, please kind of like subscribe, all that good fun. Links down below. Check it all out. Also, my Bendy mini series, all the edited beautiful glory. Check it out. Link down below. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next one.